ओके स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग पेटेंटिंग एस्पेक्ट ऑफ हर्बल्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बायो प्रोस्पेक्टिंग बायो पायरेसी एंड सम केसेस रिलेटेड विद बायो पायरेसी इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी स्टडीड व्हाट इज पेटेंट एज वेल एज व्हाट इज ब्रीडर्स राइट व्हाट इज आई एंड in this video we are going to move further with the discussion of bio prospecting so as usual first of all we must understand the term bio and prospecting this is the fusion of two word bio comes from the biology or the biologicals and the term prospecting so what exactly the prospecting means so for the simplification i just included a slide containing the meaning of prospecting so prospect is the verb and that pp uh, past uh, present participle is prospecting so prospecting means search for mineral deposits or is uh, means just like mining especially by drilling or excavation and in the synonym they also say that prospecting is a search for or exploring or make a survey of so in simple words prospecting is search of biologicals now this term in intellectual property right how exactly it is related with and what are the aspects we are going to talk in detail don't worry so now you come to know the term bio and prospecting prospecting is the search related term or activity related with the search or activity related with the exploring the things you used to explore the things simply it is considered as a prospecting so bio prospecting is the process of discovery same thing we studied in the synonym that is search for or in the same in other word it is a process of discovery and commercialization it is the process of discovery and commercialization of of what of new products based on biological resources now exactly you understood everything so bio prospecting is the process of discovery and commercialization of new products based on biological resources so the term commercialization is ki means attracting our attention commercialization the term up to discovery okay no problem you discovered the things you discovered the new products but when there is a commercialization so again there is a some rights there is some interest there is some I means mon money making process so all these things related with the bio prospect so these biological resources or compounds can be important for and useful in many fields means you are exploring the biological resources biological resources or we, means we can say the living things you are exploring and these particular uh, living things you are exploring for their chemical constituents their therapeutic effect or their by products anything or their uh, another beneficial products for the processing so all these things the new products you are exploring and you are commercializing those things this activity comes under bio prospecting so i hope everybody understood what is mean by bio prospecting so these resources or compounds which you had discovered can be important for use and useful in many fields like pharmaceuticals definitely agriculture bio remediation and nanotechnology so we talked about nanotechnology in the past lectures that is novel herbal formulations so all these things they could be so these new products could be useful in commercialization in these fields so this is bio prospecting so my dear students nowadays scientists are trying to explore almost all possible living organisms or we can say plants animals bacteria viruses everything so this and they are trying to get the products 
they are trying to manu uh, manufacture some products so all this comes under the bio prospecting they are trying to extract certain uh, phytoconstituent they are trying to prepare the de derivatives from the raw materials obtained from the phytoconstituent like semi-synthesis of some anti-cancer agents so all these things comes under the bio prospecting so you are obtaining some material or obtaining some product from biological resources that is bio prospecting the next term is a bio piracy bio piracy you are just aware about the piracy or video piracy <laughs> but there is a bio piracy so what bio piracy is bio piracy is a practice in which indigenous knowledge means you are copying something or you are taking away the uh, knowledge uh, means that is that is mean the piracy bio piracy is a practice in which indigenous knowledge of nature originating with indigenous people is used by others for profit so that is used by others for profit without authorization or compensation to the indigenous people themselves don't worry i come to know that you haven't got the definition once again i am going to explain so biopiracy what exactly it is it is a practice in which indi indigenous knowledge of nature suppose we are prepared uh, our ancestors had dis discovered some painkiller plant okay or the painkiller formulation which is herbal one so it is the indigenous knowledge of nature originated with indigenous people indigenous people means we people so that knowledge was traditional and the discovery was done by ancient people so now you come to know this aspect indigenous knowledge of nature originating with indigenous people and if that pain relieving formulation or pain relieving plant the use of that plant is been used by some pharmaceutical company to earn profit okay it is no problem if they are using it but how exactly they are using the way matters without authorization so if it is being authorized by the traditional people or indigenous people or if you had discovered something from the biologicals and somebody else is taking the advantage and earning the profit from that without your authorization so this will be considered as a biopiracy without authorization or compensation to the indigenous people themselves compensation means you have to also pay to the indigenous people if you are uh, earning the profit or gaining the profit and if you are not sharing the profit with those people from whom the knowledge is being originated so this act or this practice will be called as biopiracy got this point biopiracy is what it is a practice in which indigenous knowledge of indigenous people is used by the or used by others for the profit so you are earning profit based on somebody else else effort when somebody else is doing the research and you are taking that research and earning the profit so this comes comes under the bio piracy without authorization and compensation so the practice of commercially exploiting the natural occurring biochemicals or genetic materials especially by obtaining patents that restricts its future use while failing to pay the fair compensation to the community from which it originated so in other words also commercially exploiting the natural occurring biochemicals especially by obtaining the patents and resting or restricting the others if some indian indian people they had uh, knowledge of ayurveda and if somebody is uh, doing this that uh, that formulation they had prepared from the ayurveda and they are taking the patent of that and restricting others from earning the profit or uh, preparing that formulation so this will uh, comes under the bio piracy so likewise there are several cases associated with the bio piracy means people did this means initially people come to know that 
yes this is uh, this is very useful knowledge and now we can utilize this knowledge for our profit so likewise there are uh, several cases and uh, then then after the biopiracy concept evolved so first the famous case is with the basmati rice now basmati rice who don't know the basmati rice we all are familiar with the bi uh, basmati rice so us patent office granted patent to rice tech company on 2nd september 1997 on and that company can grow aromatic rice in america and can call it as a basmati rice so basmati rice basically it is indian product or the traditional indian product or it's our knowledge knowledge of indigenous people what is this knowledge of indigenous people and they cover that patent covers 20 claims as well as novel rice lines and existing rice lines means rice breeds they patented so nobody can or no or no else people can cultivate that basmati rice that particular basmati rice in america so the patent was like this so they were excluding others to gain the profit now in claim that that 20 claims in 15 to 17 rice grain having characteristic like basmati were claimed so how exactly they can claim basmati because basmati is the indian product as and still they got the patent in 1997 so as per geographic indication only rice grown in particular part of india can be called as basmati so this is the very big question if the rice which is grown in a particular part of india can called as basmati so how can this rice tech company can grow aromatic rice and call it as a basmati it is very contraindication so indian people came to know about this patent and they opposed giving some proofs regarding the basmati rice and the knowledge or we can say it is the indigenous product and then means what we say that indigenous knowledge and with indigenous people so this particular patent was cancelled so this is the biopiracy case so they were gaining the profit and they were not sharing the profit or they were claiming it inappropriate way so this is the first case second case hoodia cactus case hoodia cactus is a variety of the plant cactus so african tribesmen tribesmen those people who lives in jungle they used to eat hoodia cactus to satisfy their hunger and thirst when they are on a long hunting trips I means these people which lives in a jungle they used to hunt some animals they get fed on those animals and when they have they have to go for the hunting so uh, hunting in a desert or hunting in a, a forests like uh, likewise so in order to satisfy their hunting uh, sorry in order to satisfy their hunger and thirst they, they were eating this hoodia cactus so this was the traditional knowledge so this hoodia cactus is going to suppress their appetite and thirst when they are feeling hungry so this was the traditional knowledge or we can say the indigenous knowledge of the indigenous people those who african tribesmen now south african csir patented Hoodia's appetite suppressing element P57 for cure of obesity in 1995. So they come to know about appetite suppressing property of this cactus and they patented this particular element P57 to cure the obesity. Means if in obese patient if you are give, uh, suppressing the appetite so definitely that patient is going to eat less and uh, so when he is going to eat less automatically the fat or adipose tissue which has been deposited it will be utilized to gain the energy so there will be slimming effect so south african csir just like indian csir south african csir they patented this particular property they just not stop over there they sold this patent to british biotech company phytoform in 1997 they patented in 1995 
they sold this patent in 1997 further pfizer you are aware about the pfizer pharmaceutical company acquired rights for development and marketing of that element hmm. so these three thing these three organizations were involved in commercialization of that traditional knowledge now some people so those people uh, who were having this knowledge come to know about this and they launched legal action against South African CSR and afterwards two sides negotiated for the benefit sharing so at last rather than cancelling the patent so they negotiated for sharing the benefit which has been earned by selling this element for the cure of obesity so likewise there are several cases of biopiracy this act is under the biopiracy so use of uh, indigenous knowledge of indigenous people without their permission or without authorization or without sharing the profit so this act is biopiracy so likewise there are several other cases you may search on internet so you can come to know about the various biopiracy cases so I hope you understood bioprospecting and biopiracy.